Hey everyone, Kevin Min here. Today I got the new Red Bull Summer Edition for you, and that Summer Edition is Karuba Elderflower. What in the world are you doing, Red Bull? Karuba Elderflower? What is that? We'll find out coming right up. Hello again, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. And in today's video, we're going over Red Bull's newest Summer Edition, and that is Karuba elderflower. And the very first question on people's mind is what in the world is a Karuba elderflower? And I am here to tell you that Karuba is based off of banana passion fruit and elderflower is, well, well, it's elderflower, but what is the flavor supposed to be like? You know, we talk about banana passion fruit and do we got a banana energy drink? No, no, no. Banana energy drinks don't exist and probably never will. But we do have something that is gonna be sort of like a sweet passion fruit and the elderflower is supposed to give it kind Kind of like a melon flavor maybe even a touch of pineapple flavor and overall between everything that i was reading online about karubas banana passion fruit and elderflower it seems like we could potentially get a sort of sweet sort of sour exotic tropical melony kind of flavor but once again who knows and who knows where uh, red bull comes up with these ideas a lot of people in my comments say what's red bull doing with their flavors they need something new and unique and creative because right now there are companies that are doing orange creamsicle, strawberry splashes, sherbet, and all sorts of different candy flavors, etc., etc., etc. And everyone's like, why is Red Bull not coming up with anything unique? And I say, what are you talking about? They are coming out with unique stuff. I mean, Juneberry was unique. They did a red plum. They did a they did a pear cinnamon. I mean, they've been going pretty unique with their flavors. The problem is those unique flavors aren't really aren't really flavors we want to drink. You think that they would have learned their lesson when they had to discontinue their cranberry drink as well as their grapefruit they used to have. Some people still love those drinks and leave me hate comments down below, but a majority of people don't like those flavors. So it is good to see that Red Bull might be changing their ways a little bit because because they did do the watermelon flavor a couple of years ago for their summer edition, that made it into their regular line. The dragon fruit that they had made it into their regular line. Even the Juneberry from last summer made it into their regular line. So they are starting to produce more flavors that people seem to like. And we're definitely liking that they're coming out with better new flavors because let's face it, they got the shelf space for it. I mean, they got a whole refrigerator full of Red Bull. And the thing is, most of it is just their regular flavor a sugar-free flavor because up until a while ago they didn't have a large selection to choose from for different flavors but that has been slowly growing over the years and now they've actually started making the flavors in 12 ounces and 8 ounces to help fill up that shelf space with some other drinks besides just Red Bull and it should also help them stay competitive and and you know not really sure if they're comp not sure if they're worried about that because they are the number one energy drink company in the world being out monster by a couple of billion but monster Monster did just purchase Bang, so Monster's numbers could go up, and Celsius is rising incredibly. So Red Bull does need to start coming up with some new drinks and some more sugar-free drinks. Let's hope that this summer edition is like their last two summer editions and gonna make it into their regular line. And there's only one way to find out if it's gonna do it, so let's taste it out. And here's the can. And it is definitely a very bright can. My goodness, I would have to guess that this was actually a lime flavor for how bright they made this can. And they used to have a green can that was just as bright. There it is right up there. And that was their kiwi apple flavor, which I don't think they have anymore. I think they replaced it with the dragon fruit edition. But the dragon fruit edition, you can probably see it right behind me over there. It's a little bit darker green. So I'm sure they're hoping that this one's gonna be in the regular line so they have a nice lime green in there. And this is the 12 ounce can and it is not sugar free. So you're gonna be getting 38 grams of sugar out of this can for a total of 40 grams of carbs. That is primarily everyone's concern. Now we got that out of the way, let's taste it out. Not sure what was going on with that pour there, but always trying something new. And we got kind of your standard energy drink color here. Maybe a touch lighter than the standard energy drink color, but close enough. Taste it out.
Definitely got a lot of uniqueness out of here. Guy's been asking for unique drinks. It's unique. The question is, is it a good unique? Hmm? Alrighty, so here we go. For your carbonation, I'm getting a medium carbonation out of there. Uh, I'm not sure, I bought a four pack from Walmart, so I'm not sure if it got shook up on the way, but uh, I'm not really used to Red Bull being that medium in carbonation. And I don't typically drink Red Bull much anymore. You know, I did four years ago or so when, uh, when I first started my channel, but with a lack of sugar-free options and the high sugar content, I've cut back. But the carbonation does seem to be a medium carbonation. It makes for a smoother drink. Drink. definitely a fan of the lower carbonation for your sweetness um it's kind of going back and forth on me i would have to say that it is high but on the low end of high and eh, 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 eh. gotta go from the can who drinks it from a cup right I don't know, you know, even though it's got 38 grams of sugar in it, I'm going to change that. I'm going to say it is medium to high, closing in on high, and it's right on the cusp between there. But it is not as sweet as a lot of the higher sweetness drinks out there. Some of your rock stars and monsters that have high sweetness, a lot of sugar, and definitely not as sweet as a lot of your other energy drinks that are sugar-free that use sucralose and really pump up the sucralose. Compared to all those others, this definitely isn't as high, but it's still got a decent amount of sweetness to it. And for your flavor profile, I am going to say a high flavor profile on the low end of high and they're doing an interesting job with it and uh, I definitely like it. I'm not in love with it but let me tell you what I taste the very, very, very first initial flavor that I got was almost sort of like an apple kind of a flavor. That kind of transitioned over to that melon flavor. And uh, the melon flavor is unique. Not a lot of companies do melon. I believe there's only one or two companies. The one on the top of my head is Uptime. And I knew it was their summer edition. Not sure if they still have it. But there aren't many regular melon flavors. Tons of watermelons. But I'm talking about your melons like the cantaloupe or honeydew kind of melon flavor and I am picking up on that a little bit in here and then on the back end almost on the aftertaste I got a little bit of what I couldn't figure out at first first and then i kept thinking about it i'm like well does it taste like any of those flavors that i read online and it was a hint of that passion fruit but also a hint of this weird taste and the weird taste was pineapple and what's weird about pineapple is that it wasn't that really sweet good part of the pineapple it kind of tasted like when you cut the pineapple a little bit too close to the core and you get that flavor and you're like oh yeah i don't like that i like the rest of the pineapple that is too close to the core so i think you got some core pineapple in there which it's odd but maybe that's just my imagination maybe the flavor is some kind of a different flavor in there like the red bull aftertaste or something but that's what i'm getting so i'm kind of getting this apple melon slight pineapple flavor not really getting any sour out of there it's really not a sweet and sour drink and i think that you're getting i think most people are going to know that it's red bull because it definitely has its own red bull flavor to it if you drink any of the Red Bulls or a fan of Red Bull, you're going to know that base flavor that goes through the line. You're definitely getting that in here. And I think you're getting a solid amount of those other flavors of the Karuba elderflower. And that's the thing too. You know, you say, well, what's a Karuba taste like? And people are like, well, it's like a banana passion fruit. And what's elderflower taste like? Well, it's kind of like a, a melon pineapple. It's like, well, no, it's still its own thing though. This is things that it's similar to. And since I haven't had Karuba or elderflower, this could taste exactly like Karuba elderflower which kind of tastes like an apple melon flavor and then some pineapple core as for that apple flavor some people might be like well is it that strong apple flavor and it is nowhere near anything like that granny smith sour apple that a lot of companies have right now your line new witch's brew your sour apple from ghost your sour apple from rain all those other apples out there this isn't like those those are a bit sour they're more towards a granny smith apple and the apple that you're getting out of here is much more of sort of a red apple apple flavor. If I had to give you some percentages, I would probably say there's about a 45% uh, red apple kind of flavor to it, a 35% overall melon feel to it, and a 20% 
pineapple core kind of flavor to it. But I think enough people are gonna like it so that they can put it into their regular line. So let's go ahead, let's take a look at the Caffeine Man rating chart. Not many Red Bulls have scored that high. Not 100% sure what I'm gonna put on the list at the moment, because I'm not sure really what to compare it to. It doesn't really compare to the other apples because all those apples are different. There aren't that many melons on there. So I'm gonna toss in some ones that weren't that strong in sour green apple flavor because it's a lighter apple flavor. Toss up the melons on there, of course. And overall, it doesn't matter because all that matters is the score. And I'm gonna give this an 8.6. Not a super amazing score like some of the other companies that can get in the nines, but there are plenty of companies that also hit the eights in an 8.6 on the Cafe Man rating chart for Red Bull. Eh, it's a pretty good score. Although I am hoping for some better things in the future from them. I believe this summer they're supposed to be releasing some sugar-free drinks. Really looking forward to that. If you're someone who likes Red Bull and you wanna know my take on all the Red Bulls, I have a video right there where I tasted out all the flavors that they had at the time. So some of the newer flavors might not be on there, but it gives you a good idea. I will also put a playlist of all my top energy drinks right there. Don't forget to check out caffeineman1.com for tons of great caffeine information. And until next time, have yourselves a great day. Or night. <laughs>